uh, as you're aware, the city was was uh, given four million dollars by Miami-Dade County uh, after many, many, many months of cities uh, trying to get funds from Miami-Dade County of 474 million dollars that were here since April 22nd. Um, and having tremendous problems with the previous administration, uh, finally, almost 45 days before the deadline, the cities were given an amount of money. Um, the city of Hialeah was given $4 million. Uh, immediately, we knew that the problem was not going to be the amount, which was nothing. It was going to be the little lack of time that we were going to have to spend that money. Because we had used our own funds early in the year, and we knew what the process was going to take. Uh, we knew it took a lot longer than 45 days for businesses to be able to come in and have all the information they needed, and especially for rental assistance. We found many people in our community that didn't have leases, that they had to go back and try to get a lease. Many were paying cash that couldn't, that had to go back and get receipts from that owner. So when we got these monies, again, a few days ago from the county, um, we knew, just like every city's finding out, that the amount of time they gave us was just not enough. So we were able to uh, go back to our list of businesses that we had already pre-approved and were able to continue helping those businesses and any new ones that were able to come through, which very few were able to because of the lack of time. And the same thing with the rentals. Right? Again, we knew this was going to be a problem because we went through it before. And, um, and it is a big problem because people are not having enough time to qualify for these assistance. And that's a shame. That's a crime. It's a shame that the ex-administration of Miami-Dade County and ex-Mayor Carlos Jimenez allow this to happen. And again, today I'm not here to make a political statement, I'm here to give information, but I wanted to get where we got to. So a decision was made um, talking to the county, because at the beginning of the county, when Miami did their first um, gift card giveaway, it was a very brave move by the city of Miami, because at the time the county was saying, we're not sure if this is covered. Right? Um, so there was a change of, of uh, philosophy or something in the county where they have agreed that these gift cards are, 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 are something that we can do to our, com our community following certain guidelines and that's why these applications are very important. Um, so the city of Hialeah has decided that we are going uh, to give away uh, 5,000 gift cards, uh, car value of $250 uh, to um, Fresco y Mas, it's the Donald supermarket. Um, for our citizens, and this city has been the city that's been affected the most in Miami-Dade County, um, to help 5,000 families in our community um, to receive those funds. Time is very short. Again, there's a quick deadline. So uh, starting tomorrow at 7 a.m. in the morning, tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday through Thursday, uh, we will be giving out these applications that you have at uh, five, lo I'm sorry, four locations. You have that information there, John F. Kennedy Library, Gullet Park, Slade Park, Babcock Park, and very important, also online, our, our citizens can go to hialeahfl.gov, they can print it, fill it out, um, and have it ready. Very important information though, you have to be a citizen of Hialeah. Um, and I wanna make sure, uh, again, if you can, there's people that live actually in 33015 and other cities that if they look at their post office, it says Hialeah. It is not Hialeah. So we will be checking for addresses that are from the city of Hialeah. You have to be a resident of Hialeah to qualify uh, for these gift cards. These next two days are going to be busy. Like I said, we will have personnel at all these locations to uh, give these applications. And then on Friday at 8 in the morning, we will uh, start the process of giving out these cards. I want to thank and I ask them to be here because with the amount of people that we are expecting um, and the cards we are expecting, we needed a very large uh, place. And um, John Bernetti Jr., thank you so much, John, for being able to say you guys can use the Hialeah Casino Racetrack, which is the largest piece of land that we have here, to be able to accommodate as many people as we're expecting. Again, we're going to start giving these gift cards at 8 in the morning. We are asking everybody, that, first of all, you have to come in a vehicle. So you have a couple of days um, to make plans. We know and we can't forget that we're at the peak of coronavirus. That's why we're having, we want to do it in vehicles. Make sure that people come in with the application filled, especially the first page needs to be fully uh, finished. Um, so we can look at it. 
um, make sure it's all there. The second page, again, if they have not had it notarized, we will have people there, personnel, to notarize it. Um, and the third part, like I said, it's pretty much per card. These are requirements, they have to be uh, written, and that's the city's part. So, uh, but the important part is for people to know starting tomorrow, uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, those locations will be open to pick up the application, or uh, they can go to highlyfl.gov, print it, and have it already in filled um, for Friday. Very important too, and part of this application, you have to have a photocopy of an ID. A Florida driver's license, another state issue license, or something that is that is that is going to be accepted. You need to have a photocopy and the original ID with you that day. Again, these are requirements that we need to make sure that they're they're in place um, to protect the city to make sure uh, those funds. There's no problem with them.